Alright, here's a project that I got going. 3 inch uh, dredge. This is a uh, high banker and underwater hydraulic dredge. It's kind of unique in its design. Uh, that's a 5 horsepower 2 stroke. Uh, let's see, this sluice is a double sluice. Uh, it can be changed around to move the plate in the back and it'll raise it up and all your light uh, black sands and fine stuff goes in the bottom and anything quarter inch and up will go over the top. So what you do with this is you set your pump in the stream, take your 50 foot hose and your nozzle and your sluice with you up on the bank and this will allow you to dredge on the bank. So you're basically dredging on the bank rather than shoveling. No shovel required. So you turn on the valve It'll pump water right to your tip, and that'll allow you to get a little hole started. And once you get that hole started, you'll have a puddle in there, and you just keep working that bigger and bigger and start dredging. So you're dredging 50 feet up on the bank. Uh, all i got to do is get a 15-foot piece of 3-inch hose to finish it, and it's just about ready to be fine-tuned and fired up. I don't know how Fish and Game is going to like the uh, dredging on the bank deal. Probably not. So this is another project I'm working on. I've been doing it for five years. It's my 71 Chevy Stepside Cheyenne pickup. I did those letters there. I had to cut each one of those out with metallic uh, tape. It was a pain in the ass and took about six hours. It was not fun. So let's take a look at the inside. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. I had the interior all done up in red velour. Uh, the headliner done and chromed. Uh, that's a big rig LED light I put in it. And uh, new carpet. This is the one, if you remember, this year they had the fuel tank behind the seat. And I can pump that thing dry in a matter of hours. Uh, let's see what it has for an engine. Oh. 400 horsepower Chevy 350 aluminum heads, Elderbrock intake, pop-up pistons, high lift cam, Elderbrock high performance carburetor. Hmm. This thing will smoke the tires right off the truck, tear the fan belt off, break the power steering pump bracket all at the same time. And then uh, it took me about a week to replace the last time I did it. So if I can get as many views on this as I on YouTube as I do driving it around, I'll be in good shape. So, I don't know if that's legal, but uh, it's cool anyway. So far so good. Alright, that's about it. So, keep watching. Thanks for all your great comments. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you at season two. It's going to be great.